Hello everyone. Welcome back to Rizat Graphics. In this tutorial, you will learn to create this. So, let's get started. Open Adobe After Effects then create a new composition. I am calling it Colorful Glitch. Set the resolutions to 1920 by 1080 pixels, 30 frames per second, and set the duration to 7 seconds. Right click here, then new, and select the solid. Rename it to Fractal Noise. Go to Effects and Presets. Search the effect Fractal Noise. Drag and drop to the solid layer. Change the noise type to block. Change the contrast to 250. Complexity to 3. Under the transform. Uncheck the uniform scaling. Change the scale width to 5000. Hold the alt key on the keyboard. And click the evolution stopwatch icon to add an expression. Type here. Time multiplied by 999. Cool. Make sure you are at the first frame. Then add a keyframe on brightness. And change the brightness to minus 200. Go forward to 10 frames. Change the brightness to 0. Go to 1 second. Add a keyframe. Go forward to 1.16 seconds. Change the brightness to 300. Go forward to 1.20 seconds. Change the brightness to 0. Go forward to 2.10 seconds. Change the brightness to 300. Go forward to 4 seconds. Then add a keyframe. Finally, go forward to 5 seconds. And change the brightness to negative 200. Select all keyframes, right click. Keyframe assistant. And choose easy ease. Let's see the result. Cool. Select the solid layer. Then click here to turn off the effect. Again drag and drop the fractal noise effect. Change the fractal type to block. Contrast to 285. Complexity to 4. Under the transform. Uncheck the uniform scaling. Change the scale width to 125. Scale height to 8. Hold the Alt key on the keyboard and click the evolution stopwatch icon to add an expression. Type here time multiplied by 999. Let me adjust the brightness. Do not skip this step. Otherwise, the result would be different. Change the blending mode from normal to the screen. Turn on the first effect. Cool. Looks good to me. Right click on the solid layer. And choose pre-compose. I am calling it fractal noise. Then select move all attributes to the new composition. Select the type tool from the toolbar. Then type your text. Center the anchor point, then align your text to the center. Right click on the text layer, and choose pre-compose. Rename it to the text. Hide the fractal noise layer. Right click here, then new. And select the adjustment layer. Rename it to displacement. Go to Effects and Presets. Search the Effect Displacement Map. 
drag and drop to the adjustment layer. Change the map layer to fractal noise. Change the horizontal and vertical displacement map to luminance. Change the max horizontal and vertical displacement to zero. Then add a keyframe on max horizontal displacement. Press U to reveal all keyframes. Let me add the different values for each keyframe. Select all keyframes. Right click. Keyframe assistant. And choose easy ease. Right click on this keyframe. And choose toggle hold keyframe. Let's see the preview. Go to effects and presets. Search the effect set mat. Drag and drop to the adjustment layer. Change the mat from layer to fractal noise. Change the use for mat to luminance. Let's see the preview. Cool. Go to effects and presets. Search the effect optics compensation. Drag and drop to the adjustment layer. Change the field of view value to 180. Select the reverse lens distortion. Go to the first frame. Then add a keyframe on field of view. Go forward to 1 second. Then change the field of view value back to 0. Let's see the preview. Cool. Looks good to me. Before I move to the next step, let's see our today's sponsor AE Juice. AE Juice is a powerful set of tools and presets designed to help motion graphics and animation artists enhance their creative workflow in Adobe After Effects. With a wide range of features and capabilities, AE Juice offers a comprehensive set of solutions that can help artists take their work to the next level. They have an amazing I Want It All bundle which contains over 5,000 animated elements like seamless transitions, presets, titles, and neon glitches, for your project, and much more. It comes with a handy pack manager plugin and this is one of those investments that will last for a lifetime. They also have a starter pack that has over 100 animations you can try it absolutely free. For more information, check out the link in the description. Select all layers, right click, and choose pre-compose. Rename it to the glitch build. Go to effects and presets. Search the effect shift channels. Drag and drop to the glitch build layer. Change the green and blue to full off. Select the layer and press Ctrl D to make it duplicate. Now, change the red value to full off. And the second option to green. Again duplicate the layer. Finally, change the green option to full off. And change the third option to blue. Select these two layers. And move them to start from two frames. Select the top layer and move it two frames forward. Select both layers. Change the blending mode to screen. Let's see the preview. Cool. Looks good to me.
Let me create the floor reflection. I recommend you to watch this separate tutorial. Looks perfect to me. This is 100% editable glitch text animation. You can easily change the text or use the logo. Finally, our colorful glitch animation is ready. I hope this was helpful, and that you have learned a lot from this tutorial. If you do have any questions, or if anything that is unclear, please leave a comment. I will respond as soon as possible. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Good luck.